All right, hello, welcome back to Serious About Salvage and yet another video on the channel. Um, so yes, today is an exciting day for me because I'm finally putting together the Mini and I have all these parts. Look at that bumper. I have everything for this car. It needs painting, uh, so we're not gonna be finishing the car today anyway, uh, but we're gonna make a big step we're going to get all the rad pack on and hopefully get this car running. Now, before we start, I want to just give a massive thank you to um, a company called Mintech. I've used them before. I've told you about them before on the channel. But these guys, just get that number down if you need any mini parts. They do post stuff. They've really helped me out again uh, with this car, so very thankful. If you want... Um, like I said, if you want any mini parts, get in touch with them. I'll put the details in the comments, not in the comments, in the description. The number and everything, just in case you haven't got it. But again, it's there again. Mintech, Google Mintech, they'll come straight up. Right, I'm going to spin round. I'm going to show you all the bits that I've got, uh, because there's a lot. Uh, and then we're going to crack on. But as always, if you do like these videos, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, a big thumbs up for the video. Any comments, if I can, I will get back to you. I don't have much time at the moment, even to do videos, never mind. Keep, uh, uh, keep an eye on the comments. So don't be offended if I don't reply. It's not personal. So I'll spin you around and let's see what I've got. Right. So there's the Mini. This is a complete uh, front end assembly, rad pack. Um, you've got your radiator in there, you've got your aircon rad, you've got an intercooler down there. But don't forget we have got our aftermarket intercooler that we need to get back in. But to start with I'm going to put it all together as it is and that can be an addition afterwards. Uh, now. Because we're going with the John Cooper Works front end, but for a minute, just look at that bumper. Stunning. Ignore the number plate, that's off. The car, the bumper came off, which was a Cat B. Uh, that's not the registration of my car. But yeah, because we're going for the John Cooper Works, uh, Mintech kindly fitted these air ducts for me. Ready to go on the car. So yeah, like I said, they've been, they've been massively helpful with all this stuff. I can't thank them enough. Really helpful, genuine people. So yeah, give them a shout if you need anything. Full rad pack. Of course, we've got the stunning um, John Cooper Works front bumper. Now obviously we're going to repaint this um, pepper white, but I'm going to keep that trim red and we're going to keep all the black optics. Uh, so we're going to have to find some trims around the headlights, gloss black, to make it all match. But yeah, I'll, I really like the look of the John Cooper Works bumper. So I'm really glad I managed to get one. We've got some um, bonnet brackets, we need to paint them. A pair of LED headlights, because this car came with the LED headlights. I got a pair of wings, because I bought the whole front end, basically. So these are in colour, although we only need one of them. Um, One's a spare, simple as that. They sorted me out with the air intake that attaches to the bumper and goes to the airbox. They had got me an airbox. The two lambers that were missing, under tray. Uh, this is the bonnet. Again, it's off the red car, so we're gonna have to get that repainted. But it's got the vent in it. I am going to have to source some trims, like I said, around the headlights. I want black ones. Um, anything else? As you can see, all the fan assemblies in. Everything, water bottle, even, you know, the bonnet latches, everything is there. So that's just going to go straight on in one go. Um, we've got some um, crap guards. So yeah, everything is here. Everything is here, barring any bits and pieces we might find to finish that Mini Cooper. Just the paint is the problem. So today, I want to get all the rad pack on. I want to get it running. I want to get airbox in. 
Um, we might even change one of the wings. Uh, this side is good. That side's fine, doesn't need touching. So we might even swap that other wing. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a case of, of cracking on. I've got the battery charger on so that when it comes to the time to try this car, we have a battery charged and we can actually start it up off its own battery. So yeah, I think also one last thing. Um, I asked for this and Mintec were very generous to do it for me. They printed off a list of extras this car came with. Uh, and it's quite extensive. So this is the standard equipment. Uh, performance control, sports left steering wheel, interior surface, black checkered, sports seats, rear fog light, English. So the sports seats, obviously they're not in it anymore because we have got the John Cooper work seats. So now the next page is all, all this is optional extras apparently. As you can see, it came with a lot of things from, from factory. Some things, obviously, are a bit stupid. Like it says, oil service interval 24 months. That's not an optional extra, isn't it, obviously? Uh, but you've got your head-up control, uh, head-up display. You've got the Mini Connect XL, so that's the big screen. Cruise control with brake function, onboard computer, rain sensor, LED headlights, LED fog lights, seat heating, driver and passenger. All oh, right, OK. I don't think... Let's see if they work, if the John Cooper works seats have got heated seats. Uh, so yeah, there's a few bits on there that are normal, but headliner on anthracite. Uh, yeah, so I was I was thankful for them doing that for me because it, this, this kind of stuff is a bit, so it's my kind of thing, it's a bit geeky, but I like to know the spec. So after having said all that, I think we just need to crack on, don't we? Um, I think this should go together really quick and really easy. So it's going to be straight in, bolt up, connect everything up, and uh, yeah, see see if she runs good and warms up well. And uh, yeah, right, I'm going to crack on. I'm waffling on. It's time to do some stuff. Let's get going. Okay, so I've just removed the old aluminium legs off the bottom they go into there and then again the other side because <laughs> they were snapped off and these are our so they're the base so they're the same legs and they also just fit this new pipe here because the old one was snapped that was the old one you, probably, you might remember it from the old videos um, I'm led to believe that's the vacuum for the brakes. So the brakes weren't working properly. They had no power assistance, shall I say. So I'm led to believe that's for the vacuum for the brakes. So we're ready now to slide this whole rad pack onto the front. So I'm going to lower it down. I will put you on some time lapse. Uh, it's going to be tricky on my own. It's a big, heavy unit, uh, but we'll get through it. And hopefully it all goes to plan. So, I'll plank you on here. I'll lower the car, set the camera up a bit better. And um, we'll just get on with it.
Right, well I thought I'd just give you an update on how we're getting on. Uh, going really well. It was, it was a struggle to get it on, you could probably see that on the video. Uh, but it's all on. It's not all tight yet. I've got the main fixings. Them ones aren't tight. And the ones underneath aren't either because I emptied my work on this morning to get all the parts in for this car. So all my tools left at home. And I needed my DeWalt battery to put onto my buzz gun because the four fixing the four big big bolts underneath I might be able to show you them them two and the other two on the other side they're very corroded very very tight and I was struggling so I wanted my buzz gun just to buzz them all in and tighten them all up so we need to do that I've got one intercooler hose that one down there again you can't see it I need to put fit that got the air box to put in and the air duct in uh, we've got the lambers to do haven't we we need to put lambers in and then it's going to be a case of filling up the coolant system and then we're, we're, we'll be ready to start um, the engine nice to tuck down there Everything else is done. I've done the, the I've, I've done the aircon pipes. I've connected all the all the wiring that I can. The only one at the moment I'm not sure about is this one. It's the only one I'm not sure where it goes. All the rest I know where they go. Um, what else was the? I think that's about it. But it's coming on now, isn't it? Looking a lot better. I'm not too sure. Excuse me, I've just had a um, tuna meal sandwich. Uh, so yeah, I don't know where this goes right now either. I know what it is. It's outside temp sensor. So there'll be a, just a little hole somewhere where it just slides into. Is it in the bumper? That's the point. Is it in the back of the bumper? Any hole anywhere? Not that I can see straight off. So it would be on this side somewhere. No. Okay. We'll figure that out somewhere along the line. So yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll get these last bits and pieces sorted out. Um, and then we will be ready for the first proper run. Like I said, we've had it running, we know it runs, but it was loud because there were no lambers in it and obviously there were no coolant in it so we couldn't leave it running long. And it, it idled really rough, it wouldn't rev. Uh, so I'm hoping for a lot better result this time. Right, I'll crack on. Getting a bit of time lapse again where you can, you can watch a bit more going on. Right, well the time has come to get some coolant in the car and well hopefully all is good. Now just going to put a bit in just to make sure I've got all the plugs and connectors because it's been that long since I pulled this car apart, well you know it's been a year 
I have no idea where everything goes. So, yeah, I'll just put that bit in. Let it get down to the bottom of the radiator to make sure we've got no leaks straight off. Um, and then we will continue to fill it up. And once we're once we're happy and we're full, then then we're going to start it. And I expect it to idle pretty good. I'm just just having a look around all these hoses at the minute. I'm mainly looking if there's a bleed uh, bleed screw on this radiator. But I can't see anything straight off. So it would appear not. So I'm just gonna have to carry on. Hope for the best. Some more in there. Now I've overflowed the air tank, as you can see. It's all out on the floor. Is from me. It's not getting that really, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah. Right, this looks like it could take a while. So I'll come back to you when I've got what I think is enough coolant in to get it running and get it up to temperature. Right, well, I can't get the coolant levels to go any lower. Um, there's a lot of air in it. Uh, so all we can do is get it running and hope that it circulates it. So I'm not overly convinced this battery's been charging. Don't look like much ampage has been going in. Uh, but we'll give it a go on its own battery and just see what it wants to do. If it doesn't want to start, then we're going to have to jump it. But I think it's safe to say that if it doesn't start off its own battery now, it's going to need a new battery. So I'm pretty sure everything's connected. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing else to it other than trying it. So I took the key out before. I don't know why, in all honesty. <laughs> but yes, here we are. So first of all, is there any power to this car? Absolutely nothing. So yeah, that battery is ghost. There's nothing going on. So the battery is dackered. And I'm pretty sure this has a jump start on it. So bear with me a minute, let me just work out this charger and we'll jump start it. Right. We have power to the car. So, hmm. Remote control is present. Yep, not bad about that. Flat tyres. Pedestrian warning fault. Okay, ready? That didn't work. <laughs> Why didn't it work? Hmm. I don't know. I'll come back to you again. I'm gonna have to Google this power pack. Right, third time lucky. If this doesn't work, 
I'll bring the van in and um, we'll just put jump leads on it. Start messing around. Oh. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't work, but it won't work. So I'll go and get the van in, jump leads on, and we'll come back in a minute. Right, we've got a jump start. So, this is the one now. This is the one. Straight in. Crap connection on the cables. There we go. Shunny. Right. Okay. Not very happy. You see that on the revs? I bet that's that electron actuator. Well, well, well. She's a runner. Struggling to get the amount of coolant in this that it should have though. So there must have been some left in the engine, in the bottom of the engine. Um, it's been up to temp way up to temp fans are blowing lovely hot air uh, all this water is me being an idiot uh, so yeah no leaks by the looks of it. Yeah, it it's running great it was a bit rough at the beginning kept stalling but i think it was just you know the battery's that dead um it wasn't happy in terms of you know control modules and stuff but yeah it's running it's running really good actually and I've um, I found something a bit funny <laughs> um, so you probably know these cars have sport mode mid mode and green mode so this car has 100% been mapped and they've mapped it to do pops and farts <laughs> so in in the mid mode you know just normal I hope you can hear it. But it just sounds just normal. Put it into put it into sport mode. Oh, and there it goes, dies. Come on. The leads are rubbish that I'm using. The battery's knackered on the car. Leads to trouble like this. One minute. Let's go and mess with these leads a second. I've got to show you this, I think it's funny. Right, well I've got it running again, but it won't do it now. Um, there's serious voltage issues here. So watch the light. Not sure if you can see that, but the light's flickering when I rev it, so... It's not happy with the voltages that it's got. Everything's not working properly and communicating properly. And it's not doing its pops and farts now, so <laughs> you're going to have to take my word for it, but on the next video, I will show you. You put it in sport mode, you rev it, and it pops and crackles, you know, on, on that, when, you, when you let go of the throttle. Uh, and also, it's got a soft limit now. It didn't, it didn't stop revving like that before, so I think um, because of the voltage issues, the ECU is not working correctly and not reverting to whatever map that has been put on it and it's in like a safe, a safe map at the minute because it doesn't know what's going on so anyway um we've i've done what i want to do today you know we have made really good progress 
Uh, so really happy. So I am going to call it a day on this video now. Uh, let me just turn this bloody Laguna off, see if it quietens down a bit in here. This diesel thing shugging away. Uh. Oh. See, it's literally running off the charge that the alternator creates, that car. It might as well not even have a battery on it. Um, that's why it's not behaving properly. But yeah, really happy with the progress today. It's a, it's a runner and there's no serious issues. No, it's fully up to temp. I think we're going to come across, across a problem with a pedestrian protection system. Um, and I can only guess that's what that plugs for. Uh, which is probably, I'm, I'm walking around in circles here. It's probably this down here, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's the plug. So I need, I need that again because it's not, um, it's not in this new bumper. So I need that for form and the plastic tube that runs across. And then that will get rid of my pedestrian protection issues. Then the rest is just, uh, you know, coals and faults from it being sat with no power. Let's give it one more go now. See if it settled itself down. No. Still not doing it. You've also got to bear in mind that at the minute, the electronic actuator on the turbo is hanging off. It's snapped. So that isn't working. The actuator's not working at all on the turbo. So that's another thing I need to change. But really happy, yeah. We've come, we've come a long way. So we'll get this bonnet painted and the bumper painted. And then all it's going to be a case of doing is swapping that wing over, getting the bumper and bonnet on, headlights. So yeah, there's a fair bit to do. We might come back and do another video, put the headlights in, do the wing. Uh, perhaps we can do that actuator at the same time. Splash guards, draw the bits and pieces so it's ready then for the bumper and bonnet just to go straight on. Alright guys, so we're going to leave it there. As always, thank you very much for watching, it's really appreciated. Hopefully I'll see you soon with another video on this Mini and some more parts uh, ready so we can um, draw continue it and carry on building it up. And uh, yeah, it, it'll get done pretty quick. This is, well, in terms of time on the car, it'll get done pretty quick. It's all down to how soon I can get more, you know, availability to come and actually work on it. Uh, but I, I hope you, you're enjoying it and I hope you're all glad to finally see some progress on this car. So until next time, like I said, all the time, look after yourselves and your family and I will see you all soon. Cheers.